we gonna make? Welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to do something kind of exciting and something that really challenges my creativity a little bit because I don't want it to be so planned and I want to try and really push the boundaries and see if I can actually come up with something when my creativity is really put to the test. So in order to really challenge my creativity, we are going to be doing a DIY mystery challenge. And I'm excited and terrified at the same time, so you can be excited and terrified with me, but pretty much the rules of the game is I've created these two bowls. In one bowl is going to represent what I'm going to make, whether that be something for home decor, a stool, a chandelier, a, home, a throw pillow, something like that. And then the yellow pieces of paper represent a very weird, unusual, odd material that I have to use in making that home decor item or everyday item or fashion item. So for each DIY master challenge, I'm going to pull a slip of paper from each bowl and we're gonna make it. And we're just gonna go with it and see what happens. But I'm super excited because I wanna really push my boundaries creatively and see what we come up with because I think that when things aren't so planned, you can actually be surprised and they can actually turn out really well. So without further ado, I'm going to select one piece of paper from each of these bowls and we're going to make whatever the heck it is and I really hope it turns out good. So, okay, let's start with the easy one. What, what are we going to make? Okay. Ooh, we are going to make a backyard game. Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna make it, let, now let's see what we're gonna make it out of. Oh my God. Cork! Cork. 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 Okay, so we are making a backyard game out of cork. That's actually not as scary as I thought it was going to be because there's some really weird mystery things in this bowl, um, but that's okay. So when I think about cork, a game that I know uses cork is like darts. None of the things that we're gonna be creating are basic. I really wanna up-level my creativity and really make something that is unusual, that's also cute and works and that you can actually use in your home or you can use in everyday life. I don't want it to be hokey and kitschy and hodgepodge. So I'm gonna think about what I can come up with because first thing that I came up with is like darts, but I don't know very many girls that play, no offense to girls that play darts. I don't particularly like to play darts, so I wanna come up with something that's gonna be cool that I'm gonna wanna play, right? Because, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna think on that for a little bit and then we're gonna sketch out our idea and then go shopping. Definitely a game that came to mind when I pulled cork for my material is a dart game, but I really wanna make it cute and since it's a backyard game, I wanna kinda of make it into the shape of a cactus and then create some darts that look like the thorns on a cactus and then a simple board game to keep score. And on the board game itself, I'm gonna be using four different shades of green and painting them right on top of the cork in order to designate the different points that you can get when you throw the darts at each area, making them different sizes so that each of the points are kind of harder to hit than others. So, back from the store, and every time I go shopping for something that I quite don't know how it's gonna work out, it's always a little complicated, but I think I got enough stuff to make this thing look really cool. Okay, so we got some cork, and because cork actually doesn't come very thick, but this cork is really cool because it has adhesive already, so I can just simply stick it on. Um, since it doesn't come very thick, I got, Hello, do you want to make a backyard game too? Hi, 
So since cork doesn't come very thick, I'm actually gonna be putting it on some really thick foam insulation board that I got from Lowe's. Um, so it needs, darts need to stick in something, right? Yeah, so it's not gonna stick in this. So got some cork, which fulfills our odd material. Got some dry erase paper because I'm going to be making like a little scorecard that goes with the game so that it's like cute and functional because you need something to keep score on because I'm going to be my boyfriend. And the darts, obviously, which we're going to be making cuter than these red ones. And literally all the green paint that I could find. It's all acrylic paint, it's super cheap, so I just bought everything because I don't know what colors are gonna look good together, um, so I kinda got a little bit of everything. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna hang it, so I got these little screw eyes that'll kind of screw into the top, and then I can like braid some yarn or something heavy to kind of hang it with. If hanging our game fails, I actually got some pretty cheap PVC pipe that I'm thinking I can attach to the back. It can stick into a planner, a cute planner outside or the ground even. I'm thinking that will maybe support it and this, the PVC pipe will give support to the back of the game too. I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so let's get started. So taking the foam insulation board that I picked up, I'm going to be measuring out exactly how big I want my cactus shape to be and then actually draw the shape of the cactus directly on this piece of foam insulation so that I can start to mold the cork on top of this as well. So we're just going to be taking a L ruler and making sure that all of our edges are really even and then for the curves along the top portion of the cactus, I'm going to be using a curved ruler in order to to curate that curved shape so that everything looks nice and neat and, and measured correctly, but we'll see how this goes. After I have the shape of the cactus all drawn out exactly the way I want it, I'm gonna be taking an X-Acto knife, which is a sharp pen-like knife, and literally cutting out the cactus from the foam board. It's really easy to cut foam board. This is one that was a little thick, so I had to go over it a couple of times because I bought three-fourths of an inch insulation board so that the darts really had something good to stick into, and then just cut it out. After I have the cactus all cut out of insulation board, I'm gonna be taking the sheets of cork, and this is really easy to work with because it already has the adhesive on the back, and then just start to peel off the plastic backing slowly, just like you would um, wallpaper or contact paper, sticking it directly to one side of your shape, and just pressing down, smoothing out any bubbles or any um, imperfections that you see, and just keep going until it's completely covered. When you get to the sides where you need to cut off some excess cork, you can use scissors or an X-Acto knife. So now that we have our cactus all cut out out of the foam, and then we applied the cork right on top of that, and it was really easy, it has adhesive already on the back, so I just kind of unrolled the adhesive slowly so that I could work out any of the bubbles, kind of like wallpaper, if you've ever done wallpaper or contact paper, if you've ever put contact paper on anything, you kind of have to do it slow and kind of roll it out um, and make sure that you're getting out all of the bubbles and making it smooth. And then I just used my X-Acto knife and went around the curved edges to make sure that the cork was the same shape as the foam board that we put it on. So I think it turned out pretty cute. It's so far, so good. So now we're gonna move on and paint our cactus. So I'm thinking that it's going to fade from light to dark and the light colors are going to be like the most points. So if you throw the dart at those areas, it's going to give you more points. And then if you throw the dart at the darker areas, it's less points, but they're bigger spaces. So the lighter colors that are going to be more points are going to be smaller in size, like area, so they're harder to hit. So I picked up a few colors and now we need to determine which color 
colors we're going to use because I, I bought all the greens because I wasn't sure. And especially you always want to test your paint on the surface that you're actually painting because sometimes paint is going to look different on cork as it does on paper, which you can see here. I'm kind of painted swatches of all of the greens that I got on white paper and then I was like, wait a minute. I need to see what it looks like on cork because I may change my mind. So I just did a little swatch on the cork as well to see what colors we're going to use for this project. And I'm pretty sure we're going to use lush foliage and then fade into Spanish olive and then fade into olive green and then campground. I think that that's going to be the way I go. I tend to gravitate more towards olivey green colors rather than like blue green colors. So I think that's going to look good. So let's get started with our paint and I'll just pick the ones that we need out of here and we'll get started. Next I'm going to use some white acrylic paint and go in and add some cute details to the cactus like some little thorns and then put the numbers for the point system directly onto the game board front. Since no game is complete without a good way to keep score, I'm going to be doing a scorecard that looks similar to the cactus itself. So I'm just going to be taking the same insulation board and cutting it into a rectangle shape and then applying cork to the front and the back side of the foam insulation so it looks really similar. Then taking two of the colors of paint and making that same ombre effect right on top of each side of the cork. After the paint is all dry on the scorecard, I'm going to be taking a piece of dry erase sticker paper and cutting it a little smaller than the scorecard itself and then just sticking it to one side so that we can keep score. The darts that I picked up from the store are actually really bright red, so I definitely want them to be green to match the board game and to look like little thorns. So I'm going to be going over each of the darts probably about four times so that they are a deep green and then adding the lighter green to an accent color just to add some detail to make it cuter. Gotta be my score, 45. No! No! Oh! Wait, did we tie? That's a tie, RJ. <gasps> oh, okay, one more time. created for my very first DIY mystery challenge definitely give it a thumbs up below and let me know in the comments what you would create if you pulled the two cards that I did a backyard game and you had to use cork what would you make and I challenge you to do it yourself it was so much fun and I'm so proud of how it came out and it's it's super fun to play too if you guys like this series and want me to continue to do some mystery challenges definitely hit the subscribe button below and I will see you guys next week bye guys uh, open and I got
got styrofoam everywhere. 